Our coverage of the 17th Congressional District continues this afternoon. And News 12's Lisa LaRocca explains what the outcome of the primary means for the November election. The race for New York's 17th Congressional District is now set. And due to redistricting, there's no sure bet going into November. We just won a race. Are you happy about that? We're halfway there. Yes. yes. Now the real campaign begins. The race for New York's 17th Congressional District has five-term Democratic Congressman Sean Patrick Maloney and Republican State Assemblyman Mike Waller competing for the seat in November's general election. Tonight, the Democratic Party continues to capture the center. Maloney, the chairman of the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee, made the decision to move seats from the 18th district to the 17th in New York's chaotic redistricting process. As a result, he angered those on the far left, ending up in a fierce primary with progressive state senator Alessandra Biagi. Maloney came out on top by a roughly two to one margin, and in his victory speech, Maloney tried to smooth things over with Biagi's supporters. And if you Give me a chance. I'll work my heart out for you and I will give you the results that I know we both want from our politics. We need someone who's going to fight for the families of the Hudson Valley and unfortunately Sean Patrick Maloney just hasn't delivered over the last 10 years. Assemblyman Mike Lawler wasted no time going after his opponent. Lawler serves in the 97th district which covers southern Rockland County. He came away with roughly three quarters of the votes in a crowded Republican field of four other candidates. Both Maloney and Lawler already trying to paint the other as extreme members of their prospective political parties. So I think on issues like gun violence and on reproductive freedom, he's badly out of the mainstream. He has voted 100% of the time with Nancy Pelosi and Joe Biden. That is not a record of moderation. And due to recent changes, the 17th district has only a slight Democratic edge. So at this point, it's a toss up. Lisa LaRocca, News 12.